Hey guys, happy Wednesday. And last week we're doing our push pull, our bench press and our pull ups. So building up to a heavy single today on the bench, uh, but this will still be a superset. So we're gonna go from the bench into the pull ups. Really important with our setup on the bench guys. So when you set up, find your grip, bring the feet back under the knees and push down through the heels. So you feel that nice tension in your glutes and your hamstrings and that nice big chest. So you come out of the rack, Big chest, shoulder blades pulled back against the bench. What we don't wanna be is setting up with the feet out here like this, okay? So we want shoulder blades pulled back, pushing down through the floor, big chest, big breath, hold it. <sighs> Boom, and push. If you watch, I over-exaggerate that I'm pushing through my heels, right, as I push back up, okay? So try to feel that with the lighter weights. And also, last thing I always talk about is squeezing the bar so it's not just passively sitting in our hands. We're really engaging our entire system here through the shoulder, okay? So building up to a heavy single today, and then we're uh, coupling that with a, a higher volume set of our um, strict pull-up. So this is about volume. Hopefully you're feeling stronger here. Uh, up to 15 reps today, at least 10. So when you start, right, ideally pull as high as you can, control, if you hit failure, Try not to hop off the bar and go to singles, just go to kipping and get that volume in, okay? At least 10 reps per round, okay? So that's gonna be our strength portion. From here we have a two-part conditioning, two short conditioning pieces. The first one is a 10-minute AMRAP with toes to bar, dumbbell thrusters, and burpees over the dumbbells. So toes to bar, okay? If you can't do a full toes to bar, you can start with just a high knee raise, okay? Trying to link those movements together. Maybe you can go partial range of motion, okay? Or you can get that full range, okay? If that's hard for you, you have any grip or shoulder issues, you can always go to the floor and do some V-ups or some tuck-ups, all right? So that'll be movement number one. Then we have dumbbell thrusters. So dumbbell thrusters are gonna pick up the dumbbells, hold them in that front rack position, get a good deep squat, overhead. Okay, these are a classically tiring movement. Focus on getting that full depth squat, locking the elbows every time. Then the dumbbells go to the ground. We're gonna do a burpee over the dumbbells and repeat. Okay, so that's gonna be short little burner, 10 minute AMRAPs, gonna be very tiring, very high intensity. Then we're gonna recover and go into a run, double under run part two conditioning. So the run is pretty straightforward. We have our jump rope double unders. So remember, scale this a variety of ways. We want people working on the double under. So maybe you just try it for a few minutes, do as many as you can and move on. Maybe do less reps, but classic setup here is gonna be singles. As you get better, you can work some doubles. And as you get better, you can connect the doubles, okay? But focus on a nice tall chest every time. Don't let your chest drop and try not to use your arms. Really focus on, on those wrists, okay? So that's our workout today, guys. Have fun, see you tomorrow.